Welcome back to The Sims 4 High School Years Rags to Riches. Today is a big day. We're moving house again. Now, I know that sounds ridiculous because we just moved here, but I think we can all agree this house didn't really work for us. It is bigger than the last one, but because it was designed as a rental, it never really fit. And, you know, with the living room and that as well, we couldn't really fit our stuff in. We just have too much stuff is kind of the problem. Um, and then upstairs as well, it looks really good, but we couldn't really get everything to fit in. And when there's not really any room to grow is my other problem. Like there's no backyard or anything. So if you missed it, I built their brand new house. You can watch it up there. And if you don't care about spoilers or you've already seen it, the new house is just over there. Oh yeah. There, I mean, it doesn't look great in this weather, but look at that thing. We bought the park and we bulldozed it. <laughs> It's now our house. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to gather all of our uh, personal effects. So like all this stuff on the wall here, grab all of this. I don't need to grab this because that's technically an object that I actually have already placed in the other house. So I'm just going to delete it. Um, and then we need this. Whoops. We need this and this and any other little knickknacks that I need. Oh, you know, the beds. Didn't I just spend a bunch of time upgrading them all? <laughs> you can at least take this bed. I think I upgraded that. I guess I upgraded that toilet, but that toilet's probably going to catch on fire at some point. So let's just leave that. Um, oh, we do also need to age up Addison and Brienne, but we'll do that. We'll just do that in the new house so we don't have to worry about it now because they will be a teenager and a child respectively. So they are aged up. Oh, and I did also go around the world and age up a bunch of other people. So I'll go over in just a minute. Now stuff down here, we don't really need. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this stuff here. Maybe just put a door back here just so, I don't know, if we ever use this house again in the future, it, the door kind of makes more sense. <laughs> I mean, I'll just leave this random stuff in here. I don't know that I'll ever live here again. I'm thinking we'll set this as a rental, so it's still a rental house. Um, and the idea could be that we just started renting it whilst we were building our new house, you know. Also, yeah, I never used the basement. I, I know I never use it. I didn't really want to use it. And I also didn't build one in the new house because I, I didn't want to. So, but I think I've got everything. Uh, any, any, everything important anyway. Hopefully. I guess we'll see. Anything out here that I want? I can take my grubs with me. <laughs> I'll leave them. All right, I think that's good. So let's go to the world. So there's our beautiful house just above my head, uh, right there. Totter Estate, 210,000, which actually, do I have that much money? I, actually, I did not check. Let's see, okay, we can't afford it. It's fine, it's fine. Yeah, we have plenty. Um, now, yeah, before we move, I went to the Price household. They had a bunch of babies, they had like four babies. I aged them up. I didn't really know when, which child was born and all that kind of stuff. Um, so this is Sydney's family. <laughs> There's a lot of kids. There's I think I've got two kids, two teenagers, and a young adult, and then obviously mum. And then also at the actual Sydney's household, I aged up everyone there. So Sydney and Ava are now adults. Uh, their kids are teen and child. So Haley is aged up. Haley Was that her name? I'm forgetting. I feel bad, but... Anyway, she's aged up. So her and Addison should be going to high school together. I might need to get the mod that makes sure, like, that we can make sure all my Sims go to high school at the same time, because that is a mod, so we might have to look into that. Uh, I also aged up the Prescott household, because there was a kid, and then uh, the principal, and there was also, I think it was, is it the principal's dad who was a janitor? He was already an elder, so he kind of got the ax. So yeah, that, I kind of just did, oh, and I did also do Ava's family from Tartosa, because they also had a bunch of babies. We might interact with them at some point, I don't know, but I aged all them up. I left the dad alive in this one. He was already an elder, but I kind of figured he has five kids living at home. Maybe he should still be alive. So, you know, he's he's still there. <laughs> all right, let's move. Let's go. We're going to sell furniture and we still have $123,000 left. Now, the other suggestion was because now we don't have any parks in this area at all, which means if we want to visit this and we don't live in one of these homes, that's kind of a problem. And I guess... To be honest, this where our little house is, is probably the best place for a park. Well, probably the Price household, because I think it's closer, but that's kind of you know, the whole family lives there. So I think we we'll, might get rid of our little old home down here. Which I know it's kind of sad because we built it up, but what I'll do, oh, look at this place, it's beautiful. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually share this to the gallery, which, oh, it even comes with free food. If you download this, you get free food. So anyway, I'm gonna call it Reginald's Beginnings. Uh, what is it? Three bed, two bath, I think. And I'll share this to the gallery. So if you're interested in it, you can grab it. And also if I ever want it back, I can also get it, which is probably useful. All right, so, oh my gosh, look at that number. Dang, let's go, yeah. 
That is like the perfect number. It sounds like it's so cheap. It's not 70,000, it's 69,999. It's a lot of nines, but anyway. Anyway, yeah, if you want that, it's up in the gallery. Now, unfortunately, that means we're gonna demolish the house. Just a bit sad, I'll be honest, it is. And it will now be a park, which, yeah, look, I mean, up there, I guess, because we could have demolished that house, but I don't know, that's even further away. This is already kind of far away. It's kind of annoying. I really wish they just had a lot right here. Kind of, it's so annoying. Anyway, I'm gonna grab a park for this. We're gonna go 20 by 20. We're gonna search specifically for a park. And I'm just gonna say, popular now. There's one. Okay, I also, <laughs> no, I mean, there's nothing wrong with this, but this is not really the park I'm looking for. <laughs> I guess not a lot of people make 20 by 20 parks. Okay. But yeah, this is all our options. Oh, basketball court. That's kind of cool, but oh, how about this? This just has the stuff. Yeah, here we go. Thank you, Judy Lander. Ah, oh, look at that. Perfect. That has like everything we need. That is actually really useful. Cool. So now we have somewhere to go if we need a park. Oh, you've even got vending machines. Heck yeah. <laughs> so basically, Reginald bought the old park because it was bigger, demolished it, and he's like, yeah, you know what? I'll give the town my old place. They can have that. <laughs> All right, let's go check out the new house. If you haven't seen it already, I'm pretty excited about this one. All right. So here it is, very Home Alone-esque, um, but it's it's based, on, it's like a Georgian style home, uh, like from the United States. And I figured that kind of fit the small town and kind of the vibe that we're in right now. Um, so that's what I went with, which I think looks pretty dang awesome. Now, I think I need to set this as my, oh, it is my front door. Actually, that's really impressive. I. I Thought for sure one of these garage doors I put in would be my front door, but I'm actually glad they're not. Now I'm gonna lock this gate for everyone but household members, because I don't really want people walking through there, except for me, I don't mind that. And we've got two garage doors. So in our garage here, this is actually our home gym, where Kevin can do some yoga sessions, and also we've got all the gym equipment, which is really nice. I think I'm gonna lock this door, just for everyone, and we can use this one, I don't mind. Um, I probably wanna add doors at the back here, uh, I didn't originally because I said in the video that it's kind of like we've just bought this house, you know, we've just moved in or we've built it or whatever. But this is originally a garage and maybe we'll renovate it and change it as we go. So we'll, we'll see how we go. That might come in later. Now over here we've got a playroom for the kids. Very cool. Uh, a little sitting room with a puppet theater. We've got Kevin's knitting room, which is pretty, pretty crazy with colors. That's why Kevin will do his knitting. And we got a huge kitchen area uh, right here. Nice, big, expansive kitchen. Everything we could need. Nice little formal dining room. I might need to add more chairs. I think if we're gonna, uh, we've only got four people at the moment, but if we did like a dinner party, not might not be enough. And then we've got our TV room here. It's pretty basic at the moment, but I think we'll add some stuff as we go. Um, and then we've also got the ups. Oh, we've got the bathroom here. Little one bathroom here in the middle. There's another one over the side. There's a kitty litter box there. Cause I didn't really know where to put it. Um, so it's just in that bathroom. And then upstairs, we've got a lot of space still. So we've got a whole spare bedroom. So the idea was we might adopt a third child or that would just become some other room. Here we have Addison's room. Uh, and he's got a sneak out window on the side, which actually you guys suggested I should lock it for everyone except for Addison. Lock for specific, what? Lock for specific Sim, the cat. Yes, I'll lock my window so the cat can't come through. Okay, I don't know how to, you know, if I lock for everyone, then allow access. Why can't I just allow it to me? Oh, unlock for specific sim. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I have to click on someone else and say, unlock for specific sim, Addison. Okay, so now only Addison can go through that. And then this one here, I'm gonna say lock for everyone. And then this one is, no, for Brienne. And obviously we will age them up. Yeah, so this is Addison's room. Um, you know, it's a little messy, a little bit fun. He's gonna be a teenager, so that's his space. They also have some nice doors there. And then this is Brienne's room. Not a lot going on in her room yet in terms of like character, because she's still a toddler. We're about to age her up, but we haven't really decided which angle she's gonna go and who she's gonna be. Uh, we've got a little uh, toilet in the middle there. We've got a larger bathroom up to the side. Got another ensuite bathroom here for Kevin and Reginald. And then they've got a whole bunch of space here, which I, <laughs> I wasn't really sure what to do with yet. So we'll fill that in as we go. Um, and then we also have an attic, which is completely empty right now, uh, but it may fill up as time goes on. We have a nice little stairway to the attic here, which you know what, I actually want to change this. Stairs are fine, but I think they should be just a wooden color rather than white. Yeah. Cool. All right, that's the house. Let's do some aging up. So uh, Reginald, I'm gonna need to make some cakes or at least a cake. Get a chocolate cake going. My wants and fears are back, even though I'm pretty sure they should be off. So let's do that again. <laughs> Love that that's, I, wasn't that in the patch notes that they fixed that? Or did they not fix that yet? I don't know. Anyway, oh, and also some people are saying there's no post box. There is, I just, I just hit it here. I used the snowy escape one that just goes on a wall. 
Just because it looked kind of weird having a post box out the front and I thought that was a bit neater. Eva, Reginald, I need to challenge myself. A new job might be the solution. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> now there's also, oh, he's gone straight to the yoga. Oh, it's Jaden, Jaden Price. <laughs> That's uh, Sydney's brother, maybe? I don't know, I'm kind of confused with the relationships. Anyway, lead yoga routine, public energy centering. All right, everybody, yoga class is coming soon. Invite others to join. Do you want to join? How do I join? How do I get you to join? I don't know. Anyway, I'll just do a class by myself. There was a suggestion that we could actually set up a, um, not that, a club and do like have yoga and then invite the club people around. We could do yoga together. That could be kind of fun. Are you just, are you doing this yourself or are people just going to show up? Like, how does this work? All right, kids, Addison, I need you guys to come back over here, please. <laughs> You're just waiting. Oh, the cat's there. There you go. You can you can do yoga for the cat. That'll be nice. Now, let's get these kids aged up. All right, the cake is going in. We've got a pretty nice kitchen. You know, we've got a really good fridge. Uh, could probably do some upgrading. Oh, <laughs> you poor thing. Yoga class is canceled because no one joined. Okay, let's, uh, <laughs> he's so tense. Let's, I'll make a club now. I'll make a club. All right, yoga. Um, who should, <laughs> Sydney. Uh, let's get, ah, oh, Reese. Some random people. I don't know who you guys are, but you can come to the club. Sophie, Vance, he sounds pretty cool. We've got Trenton and Hazel. Though in the timeline order of this Let's Play, I don't think that that makes sense, them being here. So we're not gonna have them. Um, I might bring around, I feel like Reese could come by, do some yoga, you know, could be good for him. And should we get Sydney? Maybe Sydney's trying to like move on with his life. So he comes to do yoga. Oh wait, that's too many people. Uh, Vance, you're gone. All right, could, oh wait, no, it's not too many people, sorry. No, I was thinking four total, but no, I've got four mats here, so that's fine. Where's Vance? There he is, you're, you're back in. <laughs> All right, club activities, do yoga. All right, club hangout is, yep, our home. I'm gonna do that, so they just come here. Now, can I, oh, uh, I guess I'll just do that little workout thing. Can I lock my house for club members? Everyone but yoga members, oh. No, cause like I want the club people to come around, but I don't want them going in my house. And I don't wanna have to lock my doors for everyone all the time, cause that's gonna be annoying. Hmm, this could be a problem. <laughs> okay, maybe I can just lock it for these specific people when they arrive. <laughs> okay, what about if I, okay, start gathering. So they should all show up. Oh, I can't lock it for them. I guess it's probably only household members. Dang it. Come on guys, let's do yoga. All right, they're all here, which is good. All right, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna teach yoga private. I'm gonna do a energy centering session with the, the group. All right, my class is starting everybody. Come on. Oh, I, how did my cake go by the way? I kind of forgot about that. Oh, it's still going. Uh, Addison, can you come back over here please? All right, how's the class going? <laughs> yeah, yoga class. Hey, where are you going? Hey, get back in there. All right, let's do this thing. Even Buddy's getting involved. Are, you, are we gonna start or? Dude, what are you doing? I'm gonna have to lock those. It's, oh my gosh, Brianne, can you stay in the kitchen? All right, let's, um, <laughs> no, it's not in the right spot. It has to be in the middle. There we go. Birthday candles. All right, Addison, time to blow out candles. Let's go. Yay! We, now, I need to add more candles. We don't need it. All right, Addison has aged up. Now, what aspiration are we gonna do? Those suggestions for running a restaurant with Addison or Brienne because of the new dine out uh, reloaded mod, which is awesome. And I really do want to do that. That looks a lot of fun. I don't know if Addison is a foodie though. What do we reckon? Cause he's active. Like, I mean, he can be a foodie and active of course. Maybe, let, let's, let's see if it fits. If it doesn't, we'll change it. Cause it's just an aspiration. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it does give us the essence of flavor, make his high quality food and drink. I'll make him creative. No, that doesn't really help with cooking. <laughs> I won't do that. I'll do, um, well actually, hang on. No, we need to do one of the teen aspirations. So his dad did goal oriented, I think, right? We're gonna do live fast. What do we get for this? Build friendly relationships with fellow teens faster. That's so lame. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I like the food one and then we'll change to the teen one afterwards. All right, so you're gonna be that and you're gonna be something that's not annoying. What's not annoying? Good. How about just good? A loyal? What does that do? They avoid lying and cheating. Sure, let's just do that. That's nice. Okay. Wow, you look really cool. Um, <laughs> I'd have to fix that. Notable newcomer, let's go. Okay, uh, let's uh, get age up sim. Actually, we'll age up the sim. What is this? I can just age up random sims? Okay, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, help blow out candles, Brienne, there we go. All right, actually, yeah, so now that Addison has the bonus trait, we're gonna change it to the teen category and we'll do live fast maybe. Pull a prank, get in trouble, sneak out to a party. Okay, 
Yeah, we'll do some of those. We'll, we'll try that. We'll try that. Oh, he's already off to work out. I guess he's active, so it makes sense. Oh, yes, we're doing yoga. Yeah, this is Kevin's dream. He's like, I finally have space to do yoga. Hey, guys, I'm just going to jump on the treadmill. Is that cool? <laughs> it's like peaceful yoga session. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh, your hair like nearly matches your <laughs> clothes. Oh, here we go. Brianne, aged up. You're going to be... Looking for social, social butterfly, and you're gonna be cheerful. Why not? All right, so hang on, let's have a look. You got a bunch of skills there. Very nice. Look at all those skills we got from being a skilled toddler. All right, let's, I guess, put the cake in the fridge. We got to do some makeovers now. It's, <laughs> it's time. So let's go plan outfit. All right, that hair is actually pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Let's just make sure we're going with the Afro textured hair, because that's clearly what you have. What we got? That's super cute. Got, I do like, I do like the ones with the little baby hairs. They're kind of cool. Oh my gosh, that is actually kind of bad ass. Like that is pretty cool. I don't know if that's too cool for a kid though. <laughs> that one's really cool too. How is this Afro textured? I, I don't know if I'd call that Afro textured hair or this one. I'm not sure, but anyway. You know what? I actually really like this paranormal one. Is it too much though? I <laughs> think, like, I don't know. Am I, am, is that overdoing it? Oh my gosh, that looks ridiculous. Look at it over the shoulders. It's like floating. <laughs> That's so bad. Why is it doing that? I guess you need to wear like a jacket with it. Otherwise it doesn't look good. Okay, I kind of tried to make it look pretty dang cool. I, I think, I think that's cool. That's the everyday. We got the formal wear. I mean, that's not, I guess, cool. That's just nice. Well, at least I think it is. A little athletic wear there, sleep wear, party wear. We got swim wear and Hot weather wear, and then finally, cold weather wear. I think that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. All right, Addison needs some help too. <laughs> Dude, you look dorkier than Reginald than when he was a teenager. All right, let's let's uh, let's sort this out. First of all, we gotta lose that hat. That hat is not helping you, buddy. And that, <laughs> that middle-aged Reginald hairstyle is also not helping you. All right, let's, let's see. What are cool high school kids have these days? Didn't they have mullets? Do we have a mullet in this game? I don't think so. I mean, there's kind of that, but that's kind of dorky too. <laughs> For a teenager. I guess there's that. That's a little more mullety, but still not really. <laughs> oh yeah, there's the one from Werewolves. <laughs> Should we do that? Should we do a little bit of a little bit of facial hair like that? Just like coming in? Maybe you do need a hat. I feel like there's something something's not working. Oh! Should we do Moschino? Because like they're rich now, so <laughs> you could be showing off their wealth. I was kind of thinking something like, well, like a graphic tee or like uh, a sweater. I was kind of thinking this as well. I actually kind of like this. Maybe even one of these patterns just because, I don't know, it kind of makes him seem a lot more friendly and really nice. Because I wear like, you guys have seen that sweater I have with like the, the knitted sweater with like the teddy bear on it. I feel like it makes me look nice. <laughs> so I feel the same for him. And I feel like Addison is really, really nice, especially with his beautiful mullet and beanie. Now I really like the yellow, but I don't know if I'm going, I don't know if I'm going too heavy on yellow because I think, um, Brienne has a lot of yellow too, doesn't she? No, oh, actually not really. She does have sort of a yellow scheme going. That's kind of yellowy. Like, am I overdoing it? You know what? Why don't we do both? We'll do pants. Let's change those because I don't like those. Maybe we can get some sneaky Moschino on the pants. <laughs> Money. How about these ones, actually? These are fun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no. I was thinking probably just black. How about just normal pants? How about that? How about those? Actually, that's quite good. Yeah, I like that. All right, then we're going to say second outfit. We're going to have his Moschino shirt. Heck yeah. And maybe some sneakers like that. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Should we do the same beanie or should we change the beanie? Maybe, maybe no beanie in this outfit. Yeah! <laughs> I don't know. I feel like his head needs something. Maybe a backwards cap, which is admittedly what he came with. And I said that wasn't cool, but you know what? He's going to have it. Are backwards caps cool these days? I feel like maybe they're not. Are they out, they're out of style. What a bike helmet. What a forwards hat. This hat looks so goofy because it looks really big. <laughs> so do these. Why do these hats look so big? They make their head look like twice the size. Just need the base game one. Yeah, yeah, there, there we go. Okay, let's just do that. So we've got uh, every day, this outfit. We've got that one. That's pretty cool. Formal wear. Oh my gosh, that's actually good. <laughs> I kind of like that, especially all the rings and stuff. Okay, I don't like the earrings, though. I'm gonna get rid of those. Just because then we would have to have it everywhere. I actually kind of like the watch. Do we have room for watches on the other stuff? Uh, not really. We can fit one in this outfit, though. Yeah, so you can have a watch there, and I think it's this... Oh, it's actually a completely different watch. Okay, well, I like that other one better, so I'm gonna change it. I think it was that one, yeah. Sure. And then athletic wear. Uh, the hoodie's okay, but probably change the color just because it kind of clashes with his hair. <laughs> it's a bit weird. 
Oh, I don't really like the other swatches. Okay, hoodie is not okay. Okay, I mean, it's really simple. It's actually not that good at all. It's just black. All right, and then sleepwear. <laughs> all right, I actually don't mind those slippers. <laughs> it's a little bit of fun. Party wear. Oh my gosh, he's gone cowboy. <laughs> Can we go more cowboy than that though? Actually, this kind of uh, patchwork shirt is actually really cool. I actually have a shirt just like this. That's kind of cool because I have it too, you know. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm kind of feeling the vibe of the cowboy boots. <laughs> maybe the pants should be different though, because these kind of, they end there, so it looks kind of weird. Yeah, maybe ones that tuck in. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. <laughs> okay. All right, swimwear. I mean, those are fine. I mean, it doesn't, they don't ever really look that good. It's just swimwear, so whatevs. Sure, that'll do. Hot weather wear. Oh my gosh, nice hat. You know what? We're going to go with that hat. We're going to roll with it. Which one does the debt? Do we have this shirt on any of them? Let me just check. Because I don't want to have the same shirt. Oh yeah, so he's got that sort of red colored one. Okay, so this color is okay, but we can't do that one. We could just do the default one. It's kind of a vibe. I feel like the hat maybe needs to be a different color because kind of not fully working with this. Maybe the other bucket hat. Mm, these are both like really styled to kind of with all the patterns. It's kind of hard to get it to work. Uh, it doesn't really work. But you know what? He's taking advice from Kevin, so it's fine. All right, and then cold weather wear. <laughs> oh yes, let's use this finally because I wanted to use that one earlier. All right, there we go. That's that's the look. All right, every day, beautiful, beautiful, formal wear, <laughs> very nice, athletic. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, sleepwear, pretty good. Party wear, let's go. I don't know why he's got this party glasses on, but he does. Swimwear, uh, hot weather, and then cold weather. I like how this he doesn't wear a beanie for cold weather. Anyway, we're done. All righty. So we've kind of done nothing so far. How do you have no skills? Didn't you have skills from childhood? I guess not. I, I mean, I guess we leveled up the childhood skills, but we didn't actually go beyond that. So I guess, yeah, we didn't get any bonuses. All right, well, let's do homework, please. And you need to do your homework too. Guys, we got to get ahead of school here. All right, Reginald. Ooh, <laughs> I, I feel like I've done no gameplay, but there was a suggestion to have a hot tub. So this is uh, Kevin and Reginald's Private, ba well, private balcony, private in the sense that it's from their bedroom, but obviously you can see it from everywhere, so it's not that private. To have it up here, which, yeah, in real life, would probably be a bit tough, because uh, it'd be super duper heavy, but this is the sim, so it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna pop it over here, and I feel like maybe some of these along this side would look nice, just a bit of greenery along the wall, and then, I reckon a hedge here? You know, just have a little bit of a private backing there, so at least you don't see it from this way, but obviously if you're back here, you can. Um, now, I also wanted to add probably stairs coming down from up here because it'd be really annoying to get from here downstairs. Like, it just, it's a long way to go. I'm wondering, should they be, they should be on the outer edge, but I'm just wondering how to do it. I'm gonna add some more platform just here. And we'll probably have like a barbecue and stuff out here at some point. Like, should it just be really basic stairs, you know? Ah, that's so annoying. It destroys the, the roof trim or the edge trim. So maybe it should be underneath. I wonder if that works, even though the roof is there. I don't really care. I just want to see if this works here. Obviously, we'll get rid of that wall. And just get another little planter there as well. So it's like, you know, a little bit more green. Then we've got the stairs there. That works. And then I think we'll probably change some of these windows to the garage at some point. But yeah, just for now, that gives us that access. Oh, and then the other thing, right. The whole point of doing that was to actually pop an onsen just here, sort of in amongst all these, like the, it's underneath this little gazebo area. I think it'll work. I mean, we, let's go try it. Let's go, let's go have an onsen. Let's go have an onsen. Yeah, that makes sense. Relax in, ooh, no. Let's relax in the hot springs, see if it works. And I'm actually also gonna say uh, lock door for everyone but Reginald, and then allow access to Kevin. So only Kevin and Reginald would use this door. Because I, I, again, I don't want people just walking through their bedroom because, I mean, I guess the other thing is we could just turn this into a hallway maybe because this bedroom's pretty big. So at the moment, I don't want to do that, but we'll see. Oh yeah, that would actually be so glorious. Can you imagine? It's like raining here. He's in a steaming hot, hot spring. He's undercover, so he's not getting wet from the rain. Now that is like literally living the life. How are you guys going, by the way? Oh, you're just standing up doing your homework. Oh, that was amazing. Oh my God, I made money from that. That was amazing. I feel reinvigorated. Thank you. Oh, we got $18 tip. So we're getting sweet tips. Oh yeah. Look at this. We should do yoga classes more often. Sweet. All right. Now let's just close the club gathering because I want these people to leave. Get out of my house. <laughs> Please leave. Uh, and then I'm going to go serve dinner. I'm going to get Kevin to try and make dinner for everyone. Let's go superfood salad because he's a health, health guru. Uh, now, Addison. 
I'm just gonna lock these computers because otherwise people are gonna be using a lock computer for everyone but Addison. And then this one, lock computer for everyone but Brianne. And I don't, do we have computers anywhere else or is that it? Because I really, yeah, you guys are saying I probably should have a computer for Reginald because <laughs> he does writing, but we don't have one. But anyway, whatever. All right, you're doing your homework still. Did you finish your homework? What's going on? Where is your homework? Did you dump your, oh, it's over here. Wait, meet five new Sims? What do you mean meet? I know Addison. <laughs> that apparently counted as meeting a Sim. All right. And how's dinner coming, dad? Ow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, a little bit of blood. That's all good. How's the hot springs? Oh, yeah. Now, yeah, you, you guys also mentioned with this, the disciplined toddler child of teen five times. It's actually apparently uh, praising or like, I guess, what's the other option? I don't know. Parenting. Oh, a teaching to say please and thank you. Teach, say sorry. Or an encourage, I think, um, counts. So let's go do those rather than having to discipline them. Okay, you can get out of the hot spring now, dude. There you go. That's actually pretty cool to have that on our lot. <laughs> I love that. Well done. Good job for doing home. Yeah, that does count. Sweet. So I don't have to be mean to them, which is nice. Not that disciplining is mean, but you know, I can, I can just be encouraging. Parenting level nine. Now persuasive enough that he always succeeds when influencing a kid to do an action. Ooh. Let's go. Reginald also knows uh, all of their advice and teaching moments uh, and how it'll play out. Cool. Um, I will also, parenting, teach to say please and thank you. How about that? I just wait on the couch while you do your homework. I don't know why we're, we have so many chairs in this house. Why are we standing up? <laughs> and Kevin's just eating dinner by himself. <laughs> oh, you're going to go get dinner. Okay, good. Homework complete. Good job, Addison. Did you do your homework? Brianne's creative faculties are progressing nicely. Okay, that's really nice. It seems like good teenage years going on here. We should um, sneak out. <gasps> Reese, there's a talent showcase. Stargate Lounge. Okay, I don't want to sneak out that far. But what I would like to do would be like, hey, dad, I'm going to go to bed now. Good night. We go here. Actually, what I do need to do as well is say auto light in the bedrooms. Wait, what? Prompt? No, no, no. No, 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 no. We're not going to prom. I literally just became a teenager. How could I be going to prom? No, <laughs> no, 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 we're not doing that. Next week, we haven't even done a promposal yet. All right, good night, dad, I'm going to bed. Now, something, actually, I guess I can probably do it this way. So the thing with these windows is because they're just counted as a door, um, but I think it's almost like a lower priority. Sims will prefer to use a regular door. Even if you tell them to specifically go here, they might just go down the stairs, go around and climb up and go that way. But I'm hoping with this setup, if I just click climb down, I can sneak out. No, yeah, see, look at that. Okay, so that's not gonna work. What we're gonna have to do, uh, which is kind of annoying, I also wish I just had an act, uh, like an option on the window to say like climb through. That would make everything a lot easier. But we basically have to lock this door for everyone and then go this way because otherwise he's not going to do it. So now he'll climb through the window, sneaking out. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> sweet. All right, so now we're going to climb down the ladder. Dad's none the wise. Oh, hang on. Where is dad? He's, uh oh, okay. I think we're good. Oh, you know what we should do? We should have like a, oh, I wish that you could crawl through. Like toddlers can, but I wish there was an option to crawl through like a dog door. So we'd put like a hatch in here and you could like crawl through it. What we'll do, I know it's kind of silly, but I'm just going to put a gate here. Is that blue? Is that, why isn't it just a white gate? You know, gates are the worst in this game. All the gates are terrible. <laughs> At least for the original base game fences, they don't really match. Maybe we can have a big bush that's kind of like hidden. <laughs> the... It's, it's supposed to be like the fence is cracked, okay? But I can't really do that, so whatever. All right, he's down. Now we're gonna sneak over here. Go visit Hillary. Hillary? I, I keep saying Hillary, I don't know if that's her name. Now they also, I did purposely put in sneak in and out windows on their house. So we're gonna visit the Price household. <laughs> All right, I got the annoying thing is I have to knock on the door. Kind of breaks the immersion, but I, the lot won't allow me to access it if I don't knock. <laughs> okay. Now we sneak. Hey, you're in the wrong room. That's not your room. Forest. Uh, wait, is she even here? Is Ava, Sydney, Forest. No, oh, she's not even here. Hillary, where are you? Focus camera. Oh, she's over at the pier. We we're supposed to sneak out together. You kind of wrote, <gasps> she's seeing Julio. I mean, we're just friends, so that's fine. But um, annoyingly, I don't have a quick way to get over there. Can I buy a bicycle while I'm here? Oh, I can't, okay. Wait there, Hillary, I'm coming. Oh my gosh, I think we need to do a makeover of her outfits too. <laughs> I'm coming, Hillary. Wait, why am I walking? They literally in the patch note said I would run now. Okay, what if I just said go here, will he run? Because that was a bug where they, they weren't running. That, literally in the patch notes today. All right, patch notes from today, base game. Sims will run while performing a go here interaction if the distance is long enough. And they aren't lazy. My Sim, he's not lazy and do not currently have a buff that would prevent running. 
and I don't, I don't have any of those. So, well, at least I don't think so. No, I just have decorated, and I'm not lazy. I have loyal. I'm active. So literally, if anything, I should be running there. Also, my wants and fears are back again. Like, why? Is it every time I travel? Stop. Okay, hang on. Let me try again. Okay, so it's a long distance. That's a long distance. Go here. Um, Sims, you didn't fix it C quite clearly. It's not fixed. <laughs> awesome. Hillary? She's probably left by the time I get here. Oh no, she's still here. Sweet. Rave about growing up. Yeah! Can you get off your phone and talk to Hillary, please? Hey, Hillary. I I snuck out of my house. <laughs> did, you, did you see our new house? It's pretty cool. We live next door to you now. <laughs> Whine about unfair life. Oh my gosh. Okay, you're privileged. Oh my god, my dad is so controlling. He only gave me one bedroom, even though there's a whole attic and a spare room in the house. It's so unfair. Like, what the heck? Uh, are you a teenager? Oh, you are. You're probably gonna be at high school. That's cool. Um, anyway, <laughs> plan to stuff jocks in locker. Uh, I'm sorry, Addison, but I don't think you're gonna be cool at school. Just because I styled you. That probably doesn't help. Friendly. Let's uh, ask about how, how's your day, Hillary? She's uncomfortable. I feel like... Uh, Okay, I feel like you're really not wanting to hang out with me right now. You've changed since we became teenagers. <laughs> You've changed. Let's go sit here. Oh, I'm getting cold. Probably change into that. There we go. Changed. All right, let's go have a little bit of friend time. You know, we're just friends for now. Oh my god. Uh... <laughs> Actually, you know what? She kind of looks like Lady Big Wallet in a, in a little way. Like the eyes and nose look kind of similar to the OG. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> Well, he's like looking so happy and she's like, why am I here? It's okay. Th oh, I'm on the wrong team. It's okay. Things will get better. I'll tell you a funny story about that. Show off app. Okay, check out this sweet game. It's called Flappy Bird, right? You tap the screen and the bird goes up. And if you don't tap it, yeah, yeah, the bird goes down, right? It's pretty awesome. I really got to pee. It's a bit of a problem. It's okay. She like got a text and looked at her phone. Let's see how it is. Yeah, yeah check out it. Here's Flappy Bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? It's pretty sweet. I mean, she seemed to like it. <laughs> uh, let's uh, scoff it. No, plan to start a food fight. Act tough. Let's not do that. Can I like cheer you up at all? Cause I, you're uncomfortable. Like, is it? Are you uncomfortable because of me? Is that why you're uncomfortable? Let's become best friends forever. Maybe that'll solve it. Best friends forever and ever and ever. And she's like, <laughs> wait, did you not like that? Oh no, that was something else. That's okay. Oh, that's nice. Best friends forever. No matter what. Oh, now she's happy. Yay! Bright and day. And why don't we also, what time is it? 10 p.m. Okay. Maybe just a little hug. Maybe we'll go home. Cause I, got, I got a pee, so I should probably go home. Oh, isn't that nice? Don't worry. Don't worry. Hillary will be best friends forever and ever and ever. Unless someone else become, comes between us in high school. But that would never happen to us. But when were we supposed to hug? What happened to that? Where did our hug go? Or did I, did I literally miss it? I don't think so. Oh. Alright, well, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll probably sneak out again. <laughs> Alright, I gotta sneak back in. Uh oh. Dad's in the living room. Around here. Yeah, no, I gotta pee, but we gotta sneak back in, dude. Where, where, where are you going? No, don't, don't walk in the house. Walk around the house. No! <laughs> We're trying to sneak! We're sneaking! Oh my gosh, there he is. <laughs> okay, he's on the move. We're good. He's facing away. And then I have to sneak out here. So far, so good. We could sneak in through Brianna's room. Oh, Brianna's room up there. Okay, no one in the bathroom. Oh, he's in the kitchen. We might be okay. I think we're past the window. Right, we're gonna climb up <laughs> and sneak back in. A any second now. There you go. And I think we're in the clear. <laughs> yeah! Let's go! <laughs> All right, then we should be able to just go back into the room because that door to the room is locked. So that should allow us to come in here. All righty, there we go. And sneak it in. All right, I think we made it back. <laughs> All right, let's unlock the door. And we're gonna go to the toilet really bad. Oh, that's the wrong sim. And we're gonna go to the toilet really bad. All right. Well, you guys are asleep, which is nice. Brianne's in a pretty dang good mood, but I guess she should probably go to bed. It's like 11 p.m. She's playing on the equipment outside, which is nice. Getting some use out of it, which is good. All right, she's off to bed. Uh, and then I'm actually going to... Well, I don't need him to go uh, have a shower. No, I would do that in the morning. That's fine. We'll go to sleep. Probably auto light this room too. We'll keep the hallway lights on. There's Brianne. Ah, oh, buddy. Oh, you're up already? Why, why are you up? Go to sleep. Oh, did you wake up? Oh, yeah, you did. Hang on. That's why. Did you need food? Probably. You know what? Let's go do that. Before I forget, I'm gonna call buddy to eat. There you go. There you go, buddy. There you go, little bit. Whoa. Right, let's go to sleep. And I think that concludes our first day in our new house. Now, things I wanna add, I think we can turn this area into Reginald's office, or maybe this one. I don't know that I wanna get another kid. I did suggest maybe a third kid to adopt, 
But as I've mentioned many times before, we're also planning on having Addison and Brienne grow up and then have kids of their own. So we'll have that generation. So like we'll probably end up using that stuff then anyway. So I don't know if I want to have another kid now and put more time in at this stage. I'd rather probably focus on Addison and Hillary and Brienne and their school stuff, age them up and then their lives, you know, go that way. But let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.